morning. So day two of the show. Um, I didn't do any recording or anything yesterday. And it's actually probably a good thing. Uh, my videographer uh, didn't show up to the ringside either. So I wasn't, I think I was a bit distracted, um, you know, worrying about, oh, the video didn't show up and should I wait? And no, I need to ride my test. And anyway, I didn't, I wrote it okay. Uh, made a few errors. I knew I had made a couple of um, things that I needed to do better. You know, I didn't prepare as well as I do at home. I'm like, mm, yeah, I need to do better. So then I took the canter lead because um, I'm riding second to second level test one. Took the canter lead and I felt like it was the wrong lead. I looked down to verify before I did something about it because I didn't want to do something if it was the right lead and I just didn't didn't feel it right. Anyway, so I felt that it was the wrong lead. Looked down, he popped to the left and hopped out of the air, the dressage court. So he was like two feet out, two feet in. And at that point, I didn't know what to do because um, I wasn't sure what the rule was. I thought if you took a foot out or two feet out, you were eliminated. So I didn't know what to do. Um, I looked up at the judge because I stood there for a couple minutes trying to figure out, do I go back in the arena? Do I go back out? I'm already eliminated. In my mind, I was thinking I was already eliminated. So, because <clears throat> I didn't know the rule. So the judge was motioning. I couldn't hear what she was saying. Didn't know what she was trying to communicate because it was too far. I was down the other end of the court. Um, so I just went out of the court the rest of the way and just walked up the side. And I said, that's an elimination, right? And she said, yeah. And I said, oh, you know, rider error, fire the jockey. So, you know, so I was mad at myself for causing the, or not, uh, not being aware enough that the issue happened. So, but then I found out on the test, yeah, he did take the wrong lead and I should have just stopped him, corrected it and gone on. So these are things you learn as you show you, you know, in training at home, it's not a big deal. You just fix it in the show. Do I fix it? Do I not fix it? Do I cause more damage? So anyway, total reboot. Today's a new day. Um, I learned a new rule. So Every time you have a failure, you learn something new. So I learned a new rule yesterday. I asked like four people and nobody knew the rule. <laughs> so I had to ask the technical delegate and she had to look it up. So it's not a rule that is, um, is something that you know unless it happens to you or something that you experience, you know. But anyway, now I know the rule. So now I know what to do if it, something like that happens again. So lesson learned and today is a new day. And I've already cleaned his stall, walked him around, um, got him his breakfast, and I'm riding it uh, just after 10 this morning. So, and it's cold, it's 37 degrees. Uh, high today is supposed to be like 57 or something. It actually doesn't feel too bad, which is good. So, today's a new day, got another shot, and then we have tomorrow too. So, each day is a new day, and we'll take each day as it comes. So, just wanted to make sure that everybody knew what the elimination was and why it occurred and what the rule is so that if it happens to you you'll know what the rule is it's going out for another stroll with yellow he's not happy about hanging around in the stall all day so i've been trying to get him out to walk around um it's supposed to rain tomorrow oh, yay um, it's a covered arena, but the, I know, the warm-up is not covered, so figure out the logistics, probably do some maneuvering in the morning, because we're going to leave right after we show tomorrow, so I might just pull the trailer around and uh, not have to move my tack twice if we can, because that's a pain in the backside.
uh, just cooling out from our ride. Um, I turned up the volume and I think what I've done is when he gets uh, very upset and has a meltdown and, and tries throwing changes when I didn't ask for it and he, he goes through his Rolodex, um, I've backed the pressure off and what I needed to do apparently was push him into the contact and teach him that that's what the objective is. That collection means you're going to push into the bridle, which means he takes a lot more weight in my hands. Um, so that was a bit different than what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to get him lighter in the contact and have self-carriage, but um, because of the show and the way they want, um, they want them on the bit the whole time, I had to teach him that I can't let go, that, I mean, I, I give to him when I can, but I have to keep him on the contact the whole time. So um, we worked through the, the walk canner uh, tour for the second level test several times to really get him to understand that he needs to go forward with the walk, even though he's anticipating the canter transition. Um, I need him to stay with me, stay on the contact, not drop the contact. And then I push him um, into the canter. And then um, was practicing with some straightness on the long sides um, because I noticed in the video he was very crooked. So I haven't been paying attention to my straightness, which is a problem. Because all these comments about Ben, that's not really what the problem was. The problem was that he was crooked and he's tense um, and I needed a stronger contact with him um, and then that settled him down he stayed with me and I was able to push him through those changes um, you know the the walk canner transitions they're not changes but I was able to push him into those several times um, and really make the point as to what he needs to do he needs to be on the contact he needs to push into the bridle he needs to work over his back end um, and that's what we're really going to concentrate on because that I think is the missing piece is that by taking the pressure off to do the test um, I didn't continue to teach him about collection which is what we're trying to get to um, I was working on all of that and then I took all that down all that pressure down um, because of the show but I really needed to keep that pressure and work him through it and he's he's so smart that he he gets it I just had to do it a few times and then give him the releases um, when he did it right and then um, he's like oh okay and then the next transition would be better so um, this is part of uh, the riding journey when you don't have anybody on the ground um, and you don't have somebody watching you ride um, on a regular basis so you do these things and then you have to analyze what you're seeing on your on your video because I video every ride and then make adjustments and then what I did was I studied my test because I only had one video from the weekend it would have been helpful if I had had video from all three days because I could have made adjustments during the show because again I don't have somebody with me on the ground so now I have the one test I analyzed it um, and made you know some observations and then made some changes in my rides this evening and then what we'll do is we'll continue to make those adjustments and push him and teach him about the contact and the connection and collection that this is what we're doing this is what you have to do um, in order to do the work that we're doing now um, the easy uh, intro stuff the easy training level stuff um, we're beyond that and we need to ride like more of an upper level horse is kind of really where we're at and I think that's why they're so tough uh, with the scoring this year um, especially at second level I think they're really trying to make the point that they want everybody to be riding more like an upper level horse even at second level um, coming out of training in first um, which is a big step uh, because of the collection so and then having to learn about the collection and teach it to the horse as well as me learning it um, is is an ask and we're up for the challenge 
so that's what we did tonight so we will continue to press on on our journey of now developing um, more, much more refinement in the uh, connection and more refinement in the collection because that's where we're at boy yeah This side is harder for him. Good boy. All right, so we're done. Uh, he missed the second canter lead the left lead which is odd he doesn't do that very often uh, i fixed it i stopped him fixed it immediately before we hit f um, because i needed that transition score and i didn't want to ruin the next <laughs> element Ha! Huh. i know you thought you were funny yes so anyway um be pleased with the ride i uh, really tried to make an effort to to do the um to make sure he was bending where he needs to be bending and make sure we hit all of our marks so try to minimize the rider errors and you know what it is what it is it's pretty happy overall of course every time i'm happy with a ride but this more sucks <laughs> so we'll see Sound right, boy. Sound right, boy.
it sound right, boys. Boy.